Yeah, so I, I sat there with my family and the name Tom Telesco popped up on my phone and I knew exactly what that meant. And, uh, you know, the entire draft process, I knew exactly where I wanted to go. It, it worked out really well. And uh, I couldn't be more glad and thankful to be here. And you know, and you know about said that listen to the Chargers and watching Espanol, that's your Principe Azul right here. Justin, I gotta ask you, man. Last season, it wasn't what we, you know, what we, a lot of us expected, but it was a great run. Man. It was exciting. Every single game, from the energy that the, I, I think it was the best energy I've ever seen at SoFi Stadium. Man. It was just amazing. What were your thoughts about last season? And what's up? What's coming up for next season? What do you think? We got so much better. And, you know, it's unfortunate that it didn't go the way we wanted it to, but we got better. We, we had, you know, thousands and thousands of the Bolt fans showing up, and that meant the world to me. And, uh, you know, we're building something here, and, and we're going to get it right, and we got the right guys, we got the right coaching staff, we're going to do everything we can to build it, to perfect it, and I know that we'll get there one day. Now, we talk about Justin Herbert, we talk about numeros, and numbers, records meant to be broken, you're rewriting all those record books, but to you, that's the least important detail in being a Chargers quarterback. For you, it's leading them to a W, that's it. It's the wins, and, and you know, nine wasn't enough last year, and that's the goal this year is to keep to keep improving on that. And uh, you know, with the guys that we had, with Khalil Mack, J.C. Jackson, Gerald Everett, all these guys on offense and defense, you know, I think we're going to be pretty talented. Tell him. Los Angeles Charger fans, come on, get louder. Justin, the real question people want to uh, ask you, and I want to know personally, man, is your brisket really that good, man? The victory brisket, and how many are we going to have next season? I think this is the guy to ask. He, he's having a man. I will say Justin does cook up a nice brisket. It was down in about five seconds, so he gets all that credit. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking that all on Sundays. This is also, we call it Eddie Beckham's touchdown shot, but it would be nice to have a little quesadillas that brisket on the little corner. Tranquilito, no? Yeah! Woo! A papa. Justin, what's the best part about just being in Los Angeles, man? Uh, I think the weather is honestly one of the best parts. Uh, coming from the Pacific Northwest, uh, I had to deal with the rain every day of my life. Um, and to come here to play football, you know, to have 70 degree weather and not have to worry about anything, um, you know, it's awesome. Now, Rasa here absolutely loves you, and we had a conversation, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Earlier last year, as we got started, you and I made a deal. We're going to do a full interview in Espanol before the season starts. So your Príncipe Azul is up to that challenge. See? Mi español no es bueno, pero hablo un poquito. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, real quick, let's go to the Infinity Yep, uh, I was right during the thick of COVID, and so I was actually at my house with my family. Uh, the NFL sent out some regulations that you couldn't have more than 10 people in your house. Um, and so it's just me, my immediate family, my, so my, my two parents and my two brothers. Uh, so just got to enjoy the time with them. The moments before you get that phone call, are you... <laughs> what's, what's going through your head, bro? Like, are you worried that you're not going to have service? Or, you, or do, they, do they provide you a phone? Or how does it work? They tell us that don't know that have never been to the draft, honestly. I just had to make sure my phone was charged. Um, I think that was one of the most important things, and you know, I was sitting there with my family, uh, but my older brother was actually the first one to see who was calling me, so he got to kind of see that before everyone else. Answer the phone, someone's talking to let's go, and uh, we knew right then. And it's gonna, it's gonna be very special for you to see how the Charger fan base has grown, Justin, and you have a lot to do with that. Look at all the tens. Look at all the tens out there, Justin. And to see the vibra. And that's the word, the vibra, the vibe on Sundays. It's a different place here. It's unreal. You know, to have you guys show up like this, is, this is awesome. Uh, you know, we, we play for you guys and we do our best and we put in so much work this offseason. I know that we're going to get things right. And, uh, you know, it's the greatest team and, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. And a lot of these Charger fans put up 
Uthen, Uthen, Craig Willingham, Babe Lothenberg. I can keep naming those QBs, but there was another, El Pato Mayor, Dan Fouts, and the follow. What, what, what was your thought when you joined the Chargers and said, I followed in Dan Fouts' footsteps and I'm going to break off his record? I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. But, uh, you know, he was an awesome QB. He was one of those guys that I always talked to growing up. He was a big Oregon fan, always came back to those spring games and uh, just what was super helpful with, with inside advice growing up and uh, playing the quarterback position, so it was awesome to get to know him. What a treat, what a treat. Hey, quick round of and shout for Dom Dan Fouts. Woo! Come on, the original beer. Just to make it official hit. Yeah, Justin, what are you doing with the time off, man? Uh, not a whole lot. I've been lifting, running, throwing the ball, so, you know, we're, we've been dying to get back out on the field, and, and football couldn't come soon enough. I heard you're very competitive at first. I know you were talking about this earlier, man. Can you guys just tell everybody how competitive both of you guys get when you play in a certain game? Yeah, so uh, how, how intense does ping pong get inside that locker room? It's a, it's a tough game. There's a lot of emotion lines, so. Would you say we can get harder on the field, on the ping pong table, on the field? Definitely the football field, but ping pong is right behind it. Okay, now, last question. How many paddles have you broken because of ping pong? Or would you rather not say? You don't have to, you don't have to give us an answer. It's been two, but <laughs> they were weak paddles. So. Okay, that makes sense. Charger fans, give it up. QB number one, Justin Herbert! <laughs> Justin, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to be here on Dragon. Thank you so much.